This is the traditional way to learn to fight a fire, but it can be expensive, dangerous and bad for the environment. And as the types of fires are changing, so are the ways that crews prepare for them. Extreme wildfires are on the rise globally, so more fire services are turning to virtual reality for their training. The Fire Service College in Gloucestershire now runs a bespoke wildfire course. Virtual reality is particularly useful to prepare for forest fires because they're hard to replicate. You can't just set fire to a forest and there's a high risk of it spreading out of control. In the virtual environment, we're able to replicate to any scale we want and bring as many people as we want into that. So that's from firefighters through to commanders, the decision makers on an incident. We can do it in the safety of the classroom where the environment isn't damaged and where firefighters are not uh, in danger of getting injured or even worse. They use a haptic suit and hose which recreate the heat of the fire and the weight of a real hose. The idea is to trick the body into thinking it's real so firefighters know how they will respond in real life and engaging more senses helps the muscle memory. Of course, using TV footage for training for fires isn't new, but I have to say when you have the headset on and the haptic suit, my heart's racing, I'm sweating, and even my arms are tired from carrying the hose. Having said all of that, of course, it's never quite a replacement for the real thing. VR means they don't have to run as many real-life simulations like these, but they can't get rid of the live fires altogether. It's not a replacement, it's that blended approach. It's got to be a bit of both. If I put you through a VR training scenario, you know in the back of your mind you're in a classroom and you're safe. So when they go to a real fire, they've got to have experience what real heat is, zero visibility, which we can't replicate 100% in the virtual world. The risk of wildfires is increasing because of climate change. It's creating hot and dry conditions that allow blazes to spread faster, regardless of how they started. And that includes in the UK, forcing firefighters to adapt to a changing reality with new forms of virtual reality. Victoria Seabrook, Sky News, Gloucestershire.